For 16 years, the Biloxi Bay Bridge has been a popular amenity. Everyone from daily walkers to marathon runners have used the bridge. The pedestrian walkway is closing tomorrow at 7 a.m. for maintenance. And we stopped by today and spoke to runners who remember when the bridge first opened. Leslie Rojas brings us along. Whether it's day or night, you can always find people walking, running, and even strolling through the Biloxi Bay Bridge. Um, since it's opened, uh, I'm born and raised here, so I used to run it in high school. Um, so it's a part of Ocean Springs. The bridge, which divides the city of Ocean Springs and Biloxi, has been an attraction since it opened in 2007 luring in daily visitors who want to get their exercise in. A lot of people out there, people come in, you know, a lot of different shapes, sizes, you know, and it's really all friendly out there on the bridge, you know. You know, you just walk by, give a simple hey, just keep it pushing. Amberly Holmes remembers when the bridge didn't even have a pedestrian walkway prior to it being rebuilt after Hurricane Katrina. But, I mean, it's a main staple of being able where to walk or being able to walk at Nation Springs, I believe. The 2.7 mile bridge challenges people. It, you just have to prepare for it. It's, it's really an incline. Like if you're starting off from over here, the incline is really like steep and smooth. And then once you get to like the highest point, it kind of like, you know, it comes down, lowers out. With these walkways being so popular, maintenance is extremely important to sustain the bridge. I think it's a part of a bunch of people's routine. Um, it's a part of my weekend routine, so I guess it won't really affect me, but I know people that after work, it's, it's their main uh, source of exercise. So. Runners told us they don't mind the bridge being closed a few days for maintenance purposes. In Ocean Springs, Leslie Rojas, WLOX News Now. Again, the pedestrian side of the bridge is closing tomorrow at 7 a.m. and is scheduled to reopen Wednesday at 5 p.m.